Founded in 1986 with the aim of supplying the automotive industry, Baycar has transformed itself into Turkey's leading unmanned aerial vehicle and artificial intelligence company. Their development and people-focused culture plays a leading role in the success of Baycar's defense technologies, which are included in the inventory of the Turkish Armed Forces and exported abroad. In the Baycar R&D Center registered by the Ministry of Industry and Technology, the focus is on designing advanced transformative technologies for the aviation arena. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of those technologies, the Bayraktar Kizil Elma. Baykar is a private Turkish defense company which was founded in 1984 as Baykar Makina, a CNC precision machining supplier subcontractor by the late Ozdemir Bayraktar. It took steps towards producing unmanned aerial vehicles in the 2000s, in line with the developments and progress in the aviation sector. The Bayraktar UAV Aerial Vehicle, or Bayraktar UCAV, is a family of unmanned aerial vehicles designed and manufactured by Turkish company Baykar. The UAVs were developed for the Turkish Armed Forces from 2004 until the present day. Some models are designed for surveillance and reconnaissance only. Others are capable of tactical ground strike missions. Baykar is also developing drones to counter other aerial systems. The word Bayraktar means flag bearing in Turkish. In April 2016, TB2 unmanned aerial drone scored its first confirmed kill. Since then, it's been sold to at least 13 countries, bringing the tactic of the precision airstrike to the developing world and reversing the course of several wars. The TB2 has now carried out more than 800 strikes in conflicts from North Africa to the Caucasus. Since then, there's been Bayraktar Akinsi Unmanned Combat Aerial Vehicle, the Bayraktar TB3, and now the Bayraktar Kizil Elma. The Baykar Bayraktar Kizil Elma is a jet-powered single-engine, low-observable, supersonic, carrier-capable unmanned fighter aircraft. The aircraft is being developed as part of a Project MIUS, Combatant Unmanned Aircraft System. The first conceptual studies for the Bayraktar MIUS started in 2013. The most important development regarding the project took place on July 20, 2021. On this date, the design images and information about the characteristics of the aircraft were shared with the public. The Kizil Elma, meaning Red Apple in Turkish, is expected to be even more impressive than the Bayraktar TB2 that has seen notable combat success in the hands of Azerbaijan and Ukraine as well as the larger Bayraktar Akinsi. The Kizil Elma is a very different proposition, however. Claimed to be supersonic, having a degree of reduced observable characteristics, and tailored for the kinds of air combat missions typically undertaken by manned fighter jets. The underdeveloped Kizil Elma is an armed drone powered by an Ivchenko single turbofan jet engine fed by two air inlets. Yaw control is achieved with two vertical stabilizers. The aircraft has delta wing and canard configuration. The small forewings or canards are mounted forward of the main wings, which have a triangular shape. The overall geometry of the airframe is consistent with contemporary stealth aircraft design with minimum protrusions and body angles, seemingly optimized for decreasing the radar cross-section. It can be assumed that the airframe coating in the paint will be a radar-absorbing material for better stealth. According to technical specifications shared by Baycar Technology, the Kizil Elma will be able to remain airborne for five hours and will have an operational ceiling of 11,000 meters, 35,000 feet. The maximum takeoff weight of the aircraft will be six tons with a payload capacity of 1.5 tons. The maximum combat radius, which is the maximum distance from its base the Kizil Elma can cover to perform combat missions is stated as 500 nautical miles, which is about 930 kilometers. Maximum speed is 1,100 km per hour and cruise speed is 735 km per hour. While the first prototype Kizil Elma and other early versions are expected to be powered by a non-afterburning Ivchenko Progress AI 25 TLT turbofan, this is planned to be replaced on later versions by an afterburning Ivchenko Progress AI 322F, which should ensure supersonic performance. In contrast to the TB2 and Akinsi, the fast and high-flying Kizil Elma is planned to have an AIT to air combat capability as well as conduct intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance, and strike operations. Few details, however, are available of the avionics and overall mission architecture 
that will be required to conduct air missions. Reportedly, the drone will be fitted with some kind of active electronically scanned array radar. The aircraft is also designed in a way that makes it capable to take off and land on an amphibious assault ship, such as TCG and Adolu, without any need for a catapult system. However, a significant review of the landing gear would be required to operate the drone from small deck aircraft carriers, since one of the first prototypes appears to be too thin to sustain the impacts of arrested landings. The Kizil Elma will have an internal weapons bay to carry precision-guided missiles and bombs, a feature that further contributes to the aircraft's stealth characteristics. Although the images and videos released by Baycar Technology do not show any hardpoints under the wings for carrying weapons or other systems, their presence is highly possible. The Turkish defense industry offers a wide range of precision-guided weapon systems for the Kizil Elma. Among them are the SOM-J air-to-surface cruise missile, the HGK and LGK, the Minyatur, Bamba, Teber, and Lace and Precision Guided Bombs, Kakir air-launched anti-ship missile, and Gokdogan and Bozdogan air-to-air missiles. The main sensor of the Kizelma is planned to be an active electronically scanned array radar system for detection and guidance currently being developed by Asilson as well as advanced electro-optical cameras and electronic warfare systems. The first ready-to-fly prototype of the Kizil Elma was displayed to the public at Technofest Aerospace and Technology Festival 2022. The first engine test was successfully conducted on 19 September 2022. On November 20, 2022, automatic taxiing and ground running tests were carried out. On December 2, 2022, the Kizil Elma cut its wheels from the ground for the first time ever. The aircraft is planned to make its maiden flight before the end of 2022. With consideration of a future where air combat will be dominated by unmanned technology, our Bayraktar Kizil Elma fighter unmanned aerial vehicle, being developed fully within Turkish borders, will most certainly play an increasingly important role moving ahead, the company said. It's not clear whether the Kizil Elma will act as a loyal wingman, for example, controlled from another aircraft acting as a mothership in a manned-unmanned -man teaming scenario, or be more autonomous on its own. Whatever it may be, following the notoriety acquired on the field thanks to the successes of the TB2, the development of a new highly maneuverable stealthy fighter unmanned aerial vehicle consolidate Turkey's position as the rising drone power in the international arena. What do you think of the Bayraktar Kizil Elma? Let us know in the comments and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.